No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag and fix my teeth. Hope you hope no, it ain't cheap. And I pay my mama bills. I ain't got no time to chill. Think these things be mad at me. They baby father wanna build. They love you can f with me. Alright, what's up, YouTube? Today I haven't did a story time in so long. But see, like a couple days ago, I was like looking up this old thing that I used to have when I was a kid. And you know, I probably read about the title, like this bitch got a disease. Like, no, I don't. Cur I don't still have it. I had it when I was like eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around that. Okay, so let me tell y'all what it is first. So now let me back up. So the story time is basically when I had a disease, a very rare disease. Doctors told me they didn't know what it was type of disease and don't y'all be thinking no nasty junk Cause no, I ain't have no STDs or no HIV or none of that cause I was only a kid. So let me tell y'all. So Rewind back in time. So I was like eight nine whatever. I was at the hair shop, right? And I was sitting there, you know waiting to get my hair done typical. We was like I think we was in Detroit or like somewhere around there and, You know my mom friend did our hair so, you know, I'm sitting there and I remember, like, it's so crazy because it was a sign that they had where it said something about, like, it was like, if you, if you don't have the money or it's like, if you don't pay, it's like, it said, bro, I really don't know the exact words, but it said something about a disease, like, some, like, type of, like, disease to, like, the hair people, if you don't pay or something like that, it was something, it was some type of sign. If I find a sign, I'll put it in here, but I don't think I'll find it. But it was something like that, right? And literally, I I remember, like, I looked down at my leg, right? And I seen a whole bunch of, like, red dots on my junk. And I'm at the time, I'm thinking in my head, like, I'm only, like, eight. So I'm like, what the? Like, what's on my leg? And, like, I'm feeling it. And it's, like, it's not outside of my skin. Like, it was inside my skin. But it was, like, a whole bunch of red dots. And my legs was, like hurting like they was like and it just happened like i promise you it was not there that morning it was not there i don't think it was there on the way because it was summertime and i had on i think i had on shorts or it was like spring summertime whatever and like i look at my legs and it's on both of my legs like it was started off with just a few like red right and i told my like i like hit my mom and i told her to look at my legs and she looking and she like what the because the first thing we thought was that it was like chicken pox or something because that's what it looked like and I'm like, but it's not outside of my skin. Like, it didn't look like no type of bumps. Like, and it wasn't itchy. Like, it hurt. And I'm looking at her, and she like, what the? And she's like, we're going to have to take you to the doctor. But at the time, like, I don't know. Like, it didn't seem, like, even to me, it didn't seem like nothing serious. Because, like, it hurt, but I could still, like, move. So I think I had, we had got our hair done, and we had left, right? And we, she, I had the time, I really, 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 loved Outback and she had promised to take me to Outback today and I told her she's like you want to go to the doctors or you want to go to Outback first I said I want to go to Outback because I was hungry Outback is my favorite place I'm like I want to go to Outback because you know I didn't really think it was that serious because the time I'm like it's probably just some I don't know I was eight I didn't know so we went out to eat we get to Outback order our food this this and that eating chump 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 my legs got worse so basically it had spread like worse on my legs to where it was like my full leg like was covered in like red like bumps like not bumps like it was like inside my skin but like listen okay so I told my mom like she like you need to go we need to take you to the emergency room now cause she like look we need to go and I told her like I can't and walk I can't like my legs is like felt like it was gone but I couldn't move and I'm like so I think she carried me back to the car we went straight to the emergency room she put me in the wheelchair and pushed me in there and you know she told him look at my legs and I swear the nurses like I feel like I remember like the nurses was looking at me like like they was looking at me like what the hell like you know they had did all the stuff but they took me back in the room and you know they were like examining me looking at my legs and stuff like that and they, the doctor said, talking about, he, did they just saying like they didn't know what it was, like they didn't know exactly what it was. Because what I had at the time was, it's still rare, like even today in 2018, but back then, and like, when I was 9, it was like 2010, or I was 8, it was like 2009. Back then, it was way more rare to have it. 
So that at the time, they really didn't know what it was. When I tell you, we was at the emergency room for so long just because they had to figure out what the heck it was. We was there for a minute. So, they looking at my legs, this, this, and that, and I couldn't walk. So they had to push me in a wheelchair everywhere because, I don't know why I couldn't walk because, you know, I mean, what it was, like, it's hard to explain because even to this day, I still don't, like, get what it is okay so let me just take out what it is because y'all probably like what is what do you even have so let me look it up on my phone real quick so it's called hsp i have it on the screen hsp or hsp okay so it's called okay look i'll put it right here hold on you see that it's called he notch he notch Scalolian purpura, purpura, pur, purpura, purpura. It's a, a disorder causing inflammation and bleeding in the small blood vessels. Rare, fewer than 200,000 U.S. cases per year. So, I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks like because I'm looking at it right now. And basically, my legs looked like this picture I'm putting right here. This is exactly what my legs looked like. Like, they was just like, I don't know. Like, it was just like, it looked, I don't know. It looked weird. I had, they gave me, they gave me this nasty freaking medicine, bro. Like, when I tell you, who, who you know get wheelchair to the bathroom to throw up? Because that junk was so freaking foul. Because I can't take pills. Like, I still can't to this day. I don't know why. I just cannot swallow pills for some reason. So, I always have to break my pills up and put them in, like, a drink and swallow it. Like, drink it like that. So, literally at the time, I think they, like, I don't know if it was a, no, it was a liquid in a nasty cup. And they gave it to me. I was like, uh, like, what is this? Like, that junk tasted so disgusting. But anyway, so living on mercy when they found out it was HSP, you know, had that disease or whatever. And at the time, I'm like, dang, I got a disease. Like, I'm freaking, I got a disease over here. Like, I think it was summertime, so I don't think I had school or nothing. But I had it, and I was taking the medicine for it, and it had low-key went, had went away. But taking the medication, it had went away, and this, 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 and that. But... It like it but before it started to go away it was spreading to like my butt and like my lower back and you know at the time like my doctor was like saying like it can like cause like problems in your kidneys let me tell y'all the exact because I don't want to tell y'all nothing wrong so the symptoms pain areas in the abdomen or joints rash or small purplish spots blood and urine or fuel or fever my dumb self Symptoms include so da, 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 da. It says blood vessels in your skin, joints, intestines, and kidneys. So when I was going to the doctor, like my regular doctor for, you know, she was telling me, like, this is very rare, but it could be like, you know, it could be like, even though I say it can go away in weeks, some people have it for like a long time. And it's like, it's actually like, that junk is really like painful. Like you got to the point where your sis couldn't walk. So like, it really was like, eh. like my doctor always told me I got a very, like, I got very lucky with my case of it because my case did go away, even though it did come back, I think like once or twice. Like around the same time though, but it did ended up going away for good. And ever since, like the third time I think it went away, I haven't had it since then. But like every once in a while, when I see like red, like little spots on me, just randomly, I always be like, uh. even though it say it's mostly like like you get it when you're mostly like at that age, like five to like ten or something like that. But you know, it's still just being back on mind. Like uh, I'm not trying to have that junk again. But you know. Yeah, that was the time your girl had a disease and it was just like, eh. It was just, I don't know, cause it, it was just, it was scary, kind of, because I just thought something was like really wrong with me. And, you know, my doctor, every time I went back to the doctor, she always told me, like, you had a lucky case because she would tell me about somebody that had it and it's in their kidneys and I just feel so bad. And I just thank the God every day that it went away for me. You know, if you're watching this and you've had it or you've seen someone that have it, hopefully it goes away for them. But, y'all, yeah, that was my story time about the time I had a disease. So, it's out there. There we go. But if y'all like the story time, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.